Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. Yeah. Um. Speaking of trauma, depression in the black community is is it's serious. It's serious. It's serious. Yeah. I didn't know. We all deal with depression. In some in some ways. You yeah. know what I'm saying. But I didn't know how serious it was. Me, Charlemagne talk about it all the time. And young black men go seek therapy. Go do this. Go this. Yeah. Cause y'all have been through a lot. So I I definitely get it. And then on top of that. Louisiana is one of the poorest states, top three poorest states in the U.S. Facts. So, dealing with that alone Facts. is something. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Money is not flowing. You got to worry about this, got to worry about that. Hurricanes. Yeah, hurricanes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The, the incarceration rate is through the roof through in this roof. state. For real. You got you to gotta do that, live. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. You man. can't smoke weed out here, man. In Houston, you can, you can ride around. Um, You can ride around like three ounces. Mm -hmm. You know, Louisiana man, like you still gonna do time for weed. They catch you with pounds, you out of there, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's still things that we still them slave laws, we still yeah, rocking on that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? For the people that smoke, you know, like it's bad, dog. Especially like when you say depression with black males, man, like that's that's where a lot of the, that's where a lot of the I feel like aggression and a lot of the things come from, man. Like depression. We ain't got nobody to speak to. We don't have no real counselors to really, you know what I'm saying, instruct us on how to maneuver through issues in our mind you know from past trauma and things that we done went through so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. now i want to i want to say this man it's it's rare you are you are a rare diamond in a in a in the rough yeah to an uh, artist you can paint yeah you can actually paint yeah and you can rap yeah i don't think i've ever met a person like you yeah before <laughs> um, <laughs> Is like what came first, the paint or the rap? Uh, the paint. Well, the drawing came first. Yeah, you know the drawing. Yeah, I used to watch my cousin Kobe. I used to be drawing like Dragon Ball Z, trying to be like him. Mm -hmm. And then shoot, I just graduated. I graduated to like drawing better, to drawing like portraits and stuff like that. And then my teachers, man, I was in school, man, getting my ass in trouble right here. Matter of fact, right here by Laugh at High, I used to be getting in trouble. My teachers used to be begging me, please, please paint. Like, just try to paint. You know what I'm saying? I, I was like, nah, for a whole year. Year passed. Next year came. Same questions. I'm like, man, this got to be God. Like, keep asking me to paint. Like, man, I started painting. I hated it the first time. Stayed with it. <clears throat> Stayed with it. And uh, eventually it became therapeutic, man, because my mama, she started going through a lot. My mama started going through a lot of mental issues. And she went through like a divorce, you know what I'm saying? We was down bad. We was moving around. We was all over Northside, Broussard. We was over here. We was everywhere in Lafayette, man. So I mean, like, that's pretty much how the how the pain got started. Then I ended up moving to Lake Charles, stuck to the pain, you feel me? And then I moved to Houston. And ever since then, like, I might have put it down for one year, but outside of that, man, I just been booming with just art. Like, that's what people know me for. People know me for art, for yeah. sure. Yeah. People know me for being a true artist. I'm gonna say it like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I man. So you are, you are, man. The, the things that you've done. I was. You just showed me a video when you were in Houston. Yeah, yeah. Like, how did that come about? As far as you painting for them? Oh uh, shoot. Um, I met. I met a uh, Junebug. That's my partner. Shout out Junebug. I met him. Um, in the trenches in Third Ward before. And then one of my pot, they was they was they was calling around trying to get somebody to come paint their shop, they little shop where they be posted it. And uh, is this dude nice in line? He hit me up, a photographer dude. He was like, "Hey, my partners out here." Who I was like, "Man, I know my bitch." I was like, "Man, I know uh, I was like I know who uh, Juno Bug and all them people is." I was like, "Bet I'm gonna pull up, pull it up, man." He was like, "How much you trying to do this for?" Ooh, and nigga pulled out the cash on the spot, and nigga, I started working. Like yeah. I started painting the shop. I was over there. I was up in there for about a week. But that's how I really got, you know what I'm saying, to know who they was. Bloodbath, Junebug, Stunner Bam, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. Shout out to all them guys, man. Yeah, yeah. They doing their thing. Now, I, I want to I wanna kind of take it back a little bit. What part of Lafayette are you actually from? Really, initially I was born in Houston. Okay. But we didn't stay in Houston long, you know what I'm saying. My mom was going through shit with my daddy, so we ended up moving to Broussard. Mm -hmm. So I might have been, man, I, I probably wasn't even one yet, you know what I'm saying. We moved to Broussard. I probably stayed in Broussard till I was about four or five. Now Broussard, for people that don't know, that's like Broussard is like if 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 you're in Houston, Broussard is like 
Katie or Sugar mm -hmm. Land, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or Spring or something like that. This is the outskirts of Lafayette, but Lafayette is way smaller, so Broussard is like 10 minutes up the street. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's where my grandmother is, that's where all my people at. Like, most of my family on my mama's side, we from Broussard. So your, your daddy from Houston? My daddy from Lake Charles. Mm -hmm. You hear me? They met, my mom and my daddy met in Houston though. You know what I'm saying? But um, I moved probably to Lafayette probably when I was about five. We moved back here going towards Acadiana in the hood. Cause we was we was to stay in Koji Lee and Bruce and Bruce Hall. That's the that's the jicks. Shout out to Bruce Hall, man. I went to LTs, bro. Yeah. Hey, LTs. Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> man that's some good seafood over there. Yeah, it's going down. You know what time it is. Yeah. What's it?